hey guys so i'm back with a quick update so yesterday i went to the gyn oncology doctor you know to talk about um the recent pet scan that i had which showed that uh it was a growth in my ovaries yeah my bad anyway so um, when I met with her yesterday, basically, she just said that the only way they can biopsy it is to take it out, which is strictly my choice. So I told her that, you know, they can go ahead and take it. And she asked if I wanted my left ovary taken out as well um, due to the fact that, you know, it could spread to the left ovary. Um, and if I don't take it out the right ovary, it could be, you know, a lot more symptoms. So, being that I really can't remember, I could have sworn that it was already in my left ovary, but it um, disappeared, like it went away. But I really don't remember. But that's neither here or there. But I decided to basically get both of my ovaries and my fallopian tubes taken out. And that should happen in February of this year. So, to prepare for this surgery, um, I can't have chemo for, up, I think, four weeks prior to having surgery. So, I have not had chemo since uh, the week before Christmas. I was supposed to have chemo last week, but unfortunately, I got hit with the Omarion. Yes, I had COVID. So, I was hit with that, and um, that kind of put me down, so I couldn't have chemo. And I was supposed to have chemo next week, but next week's chemo has been canceled. So I can um, not have chemo for four weeks prior to having surgery. Um, also, two weeks after having surgery, I can't have chemo. So more than likely, my chemo will not start again until basically March. Um, as far as I know right now, so I'll have surgery on February 1st. Um, I can't pronounce it, so I'm not going to get up here and embarrass myself and try to actually say what type of surgery it is. You guys probably already know. Um, I did have to come to the realization yesterday when I was filling out the consent, basically saying that I would never be able to have kids. That sucks, but at this point, you know, I have to make a decision, you know, of what I want to do, so... I'm just going to go on with the surgery. I'm already doing it enough. So, if I can have surgery and get this taken out, I'm with it. Being that, um, when I, before I talked to the GYN oncologist, my original oncologist told me that if it's metastatic, you know, they got to check it. And if it is, I can't get it taken out. They will put me on another chemo. But she decided, well, I guess the GYN is just like, we're just going to take it out. Because before it was like, oh, we got to do an MRI, biopsy. She may have to go to Hopkins. She may have to go to Duke. We may have to do all this stuff. And they're just like, yeah, no, we're just going to go ahead and take it and then biopsy it. And I'm going to tell you the truth. Honestly, you don't even have to do the biopsy anymore once you take it. I don't care what you do. You can throw it in the trash for all I care. I don't know. Um. So, yeah. How do I feel about it? I'm not nervous and I'm not scared because I'm going to be sweet. <laughs> it is outpatient surgery, so I will be going home the same day. But, um, yeah, it'll be, I'll be sweet. So I'll just wake up and it'll be over. Hopefully, you know, that's how I go, gratefully. So, um, yeah. So I'm okay. Now, the day of surgery, probably about two days prior, I'll probably start tripping. Yeah, more than likely, I'm gonna probably start tripping. But as of right now, I'm okay. I'm good. I'm not. I'm not concerned with having surgery. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Just gotta suck it up and just. go through it you know like what else can you do what else is there to say so i will be back with more updates with this little journey that i'm on 
And thank you guys for following. Thank you guys for liking. Thank you guys for your encouragement and your kind words. It really do mean a lot. And hopefully, you know, I provide the same thing for you guys. Like I said, I'll talk to you guys later. And always remember, it's mental over physical. If you can get your mental right, the physical will follow. Until next time, guys.